The ACLU refused to cooperate, but Depp has now ramped up the pressure by filing a motion to compel a New York Supreme Court to force them to comply with a string of subpoenas and end their outrageous stonewalling. Depp's lawyer won a docs to prove Heard was lying when she boasted about the giveaway, not only in media interviews but in evidence she gave to a London court. Amber Heard tries to appeal Virginia trial before it starts. The judge exposed me. Amber Heard has officially apologized for everything because what I'm about to show you is going to blow you away. The judge seemed to be absolutely done with Amber Heard and her lawyer and we got the whole transcript over here. I'm going to read through the most relevant and important parts and you will see within a minute how Amber Heard literally lost that one. I don't think anything else would have happened that would show more clearly than this that Amber Heard is lying, at least. I'm just saying that once you hear what the judge had to say to Amber Heard, you'll actually be surprised. Heard 35 declared that she didn't want Depp's money after their explosive 2016 breakup and vowed instead to split the mammoth payment between two good causes. Heard eventually complied, as did the Children's Hospital in Los Angeles, but the ACLU has so far only handed over a limited number of documents and emails. But the actors' lawyers believe the altruistic gesture was a sham and have spent more than a year chasing the Children's Hospital in Los Angeles and the American Civil Liberties Union to find out how much they actually received from the actress. Back in January, DailyMail.com revealed a series of documents turned over by hospital bosses which suggested that they received only $100,000, way short of the promised $3.5 million gift. Ms. Heard made multiple attempts to thwart Mr. Depp's discovery into her perpetrated donation of her entire divorce settlement, the filing states, describing how she tried and failed to have their subpoenas quashed in the Californian courts. This included a September 9, 2016 letter from Romero to Heard on ACLU Foundation letterhead thanking Ms. Heard for her donation of $350,000 as the first installment of your very generous pledge of $3.5 million, the motion reveals. Giving evidence in a witness statement dated February 26, 2020, Heard stated, I remained financially independent from him, Deb, the whole time we were together and the entire amount of my divorce settlement was donated to charity. Also included is email correspondence between Ms. Heard and Mr. Romero from June 2017 reflecting that the ACLU had received a $350,000 donation from Ms. Heard, a $100,000 donation from Mr. Depp towards Ms. Heard's pledge, and an anonymous $500,000, which appears from the correspondence to be from Elon. The Pirates of the Caribbean star lost a bruising defamation case last year against the UK Sun newspaper when a British High Court judge agreed that the publication's depiction of him as a wife beater was substantially true based on blood clothing accounts of their numerous bus stops. Judge Andrew Nicole cited a gesture while deciding the case in the Sun's favor, writing, Her donation of the $7 million to charity is hardly the act one would expect of a gold digger. Dapp, 57, belatedly raised the issue of the missing charity payments when he challenged the ruling his lawyers arguing the UK court was fed a calculated and manipulative lie, decided to achieve a potent, favorable impression. The Washington Post op-ed headlined, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. They didn't mention that by name, but he claims it wrecked his reputation and got him axed from the role of Captain Jack Sparrow. A panel of judges said the new evidence wouldn't make any difference. However, and refused his bid for an appeal, settling him with $840,000 in legal costs. That won't stop Depp deploying the same arguments in a separate $50 million defamation suit filed in Fairfax County, Virginia, which accuses her of creating hoax account of being a domestic violence survivor for a 2018 newspaper article. In the new filing, the Star's lawyer point to a September 2019 declaration from Heard in the Virginia suit that states that the idea for the article came from the ACLU itself. Anthony Romero, the executive director of the ACLU, introduced Heard to a colleague, Jessica Waits, who in turn suggested the idea that she might write an op-ed about how her experience exemplifies the issues 
faced by those who speak out about abuse and violence, the filing states. Depp's lawyers concluded from the documents that her donated $450,000 to the ACLU, not the $3,500,000 she claimed. The organization indicated it would not be producing the documents and testimony concerning the op-ed without an agreement on confidentiality. Ms. Hurd goes on to describe how she worked with the ACLU to draft the op-ed and the ACLU handled placing the op-ed in a newspaper. Depp's lawyers say that after Hurd decided her charitable giveaway and sworn evidence for the London court action, they initiated legal moves in the U.S. to get to the bottom of her claims. When no such agreement was reached, Depp's legal crew sued in New York, where the ACLU was based. The ACLU witnesses' reticence to provide more information appears to be part of a collusive effort with Ms. Heard to prevent evidence showing that Ms. Heard perjured herself from becoming public, they alleged. Depp and Heard met on the set of the Rome Diary back in 2011 and married four years later before a now infamous blowout fight ended their marriage in May 2016. Applying New York law, the court should reject the ACLU witnesses' outrageous stonewalling. Mr. Depp accordingly respectfully requests that this court enter an order directing the ACLU witnesses to fully comply with the subpoenas. Heard sought a restraining order and a divorce claiming Depp hurled a phone in her face, but after months of back and forth accusations, they reach a surprise deal. Heard said in August 2016, as described in the restraining order and divorce settlement, Money played no role for me personally and never has, except to the extent that I could donate it to charity and doing so, hopefully help those less able to defend themselves. The check was signed Johnny C. Depp II, but White said in his letter that the donation was on behalf of Heard and was the first installment of a pledge gift of $3,500,000. Depp said publicly at the time, that seeing as his wife pledged her entire $7 million divorce settlement to charity, he would go ahead and start paying the money directly to the organizations involved in the name of Amber Heard. As reported in the media, the amount received in the divorce was $7 million, and $7 million is being donated. This is over and above any funds that I have given away in the past and will continue to give away in the future. The donation will be divided equally between the ACLU with a particular focus to stop violence against women in the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, where I have worked as a volunteer for past 10 years.